Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about the gun diode. I am going to discuss in detail about the construction, working and characteristics of a gun diode. So, let's start from the symbol. This is the symbol for gun diode. So, gun diode can also be called as transfer electron device. I will say why it is called as transfer electron device. So, from the construction, let's begin. Gun diode is a three layer device which is made up of n type semiconductor on all the three layers. So, three layer device where n plus on either side of the junctions and either side of the active layer and center one is the active layer. So, n plus is a heavily doped when a plus symbol whenever a plus symbol is given after a n or p type semiconductor it means it is heavily doped. So, it is heavily doped these both substrates it is made up of gallium arsenide. So, active layer is the center layer it is lightly doped. So, let us go to the working of a gun diode. So, you can see here you know about the valence band and conduction band. There is another band called as higher energy band. So, we will see in a step by step how all these bands facilitate the operation of a gun diode. So, we are applying the bias voltage. We are giving external supply voltage for the gun diode. So, what happens? Electrons from the valence band moves to the conduction band. Electrons from the valence band is moving to the conduction band when external voltage is applied and increased. So, what happens here? Let us see in parallel about the characteristics. So, the current starts to increase from 0 to this point when the external voltage is increased. Now, the external voltage is further increased. So, what happens is from the conduction band, electrons move from the conduction band to the higher energy band so that the current reaches a peak point. So, this higher energy band is the one where the electrons are immobile, the charge carriers are immobile. So, I said about transferred electron device. So, this transfer of electrons from the conduction band to the higher energy band is called as transfer of ele electron. This process is transfer of electrons and this is the reason why we call gun diode as a transferred electron devices. So, till this step, electron the current has reached the peak point. Now, further external voltage will be increased. I also mentioned that here the electrons will be immobile. These electrons that has reached the higher energy band will be immobile. So, now when the external apply voltage, if it is further increased, the current will starts to decrease from this point to the lower point which is called as valley point. And we have to know that this region, this particular region, this arrow, is called as negative dynamic resistance region. Negative dynamic resistance region. Negative dynamic resistance region is the one which is when voltage, external voltage is increased, the current is decreased. So, that principle is followed here. So, after that what happens? Somehow, these electrons manage to reach the conduction band again. So, now what happens? When the electron starts begin to reaching the conduction band slowly, the current starts to again increase from the valley point to the maximum operating point. So, this, this occurred due to the transfer of electrons again from the higher energy band to the conduction band. So, we get the maximum operating point. So, this is the entire principle working principle of a gun diode. Here, this is called, there is an effect called as gun effect, which I was discussing early when the, the electrons transfer from the conduction band to the higher energy band and when the voltage is further increased, there is no increase of uh, current, but decrease of current. This effect is called as gun effect and in the field of electron electronics and semiconductors, this negative dynamic resistance region in the gun diode can be is it it is visible that this region can be utilized for the using gun diode as oscillators negative dynamic resistance region of the gun diode formed the basis of using it 
as an oscillator. There is also one special thing I had mentioned about this negative dynamic resistance region. In this gun effect, when the voltage is increased, when the electrons were in the higher energy band and when the voltage was increased further and further, since this region the electrons are immobile, there was no improvement in the current. So there was only decrease in the current. So after that only, the, the electrons moved from the higher energy band to the lower conduction band. From the higher energy band to the conduction band, it starts moving and then only current started increasing. So this reduction in current when the external voltage decreases is called as gun effect. So this is entirely the working principle of a gun diode. So any doubts for you, you can post it in the comment section about working principle if you want to explain it in an enhanced way or in a more clearer way. So for every diode, I have been discussing this graph VA characteristics is very important. If you understand the VA characteristics, it means you have understood the entire working concept of the diode itself. So thank you. All the best. Next, from the upcoming lectures, we will see about three terminal devices. What are three terminal devices? They are transistors. Different transistors such as bipolar transistors, unijunction transistors, like FET field effect transistors, we will see different types of field effects transistors. In the upcoming lectures, we will see those things. Thank you.